I'm gonna beside him. Run! My Buntag! Come say, come say the ballad, Kuren. Balas? They can balas? Oh, it looks a bit oyogi uh, yog. Oyogi yog? Laba laba? They'll wash you up. Brad, beside me. Beside me. Beside me. I'm beside me. <laughs> Actually, it's very common in the Philippines. Uh, not, not common, but would you agree, Kumar, that uh, sometimes people might be like English me, like that's a, like they, it's like saying like speak English to me. Mm. Oh my gosh, that's dope. So if I said Bisaya me, that makes sense to you. Bisaya ako. Bisaya ako. Oh, Bisaya ako. Uh, who, 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 bisaya me. Who gas? Who gas him on board? Bisaya me, you're a Bisaya. So Bisaya ako. Bisaya ako. Bisaya ako, ano ba? Kaon balas? That's hey. your breakfast in Kapil. What? Eating sun. <laughs> Kaon balas. Kaon balas. I know, I didn't see you get any waves, man. Um, puno, puno akong tanki. Puno? Pari mag, pari mag pump on ya. Oh? Ready in the bread? Yes! We're gonna take out the solar pump today! Yeah. Don't worry, my dad was a beekeeper. Literally. I grew, I grew up around bees in Canada. It's a fact. This ladder's kind of sketchy me a bit though. Huh? <laughs> yeah. I need to hold it. Uh, it's it's up in. Yeah. Baby, thank you, Mike. <laughs> Mike's gonna hold the ladder. I'm climbing up. There is literally a little bee's nest here. Check it out. Oh my gosh. Right. It's pretty high, man. In fact, standing up here in the water tower is like higher than our house. Okay, I'm here at the water tower. Check it out. Uh, just over here is a bunch of bees trying to make a nest, which is good because you get honey. It's amazing how close you can actually go to bees. They're very, very calm. You never got to be worried. Um, yeah, don't don't worry about bees. They're pretty chill as long as you don't like totally destroy their nest. Anyways, water tower. Yeah, we filled this thing up yesterday. It's over 2,000 liters and it is not leaking, which means all is good. So Kumar and myself, we're just gonna talk to our local workers here and figure out what we need. We're gonna head into town, get what we need to make this tower functional today. Hello there, Mike. <laughs> oh, what is that? I will control you. <laughs> <laughs> this is our first time Fully unboxing the solar pump before we head to town. It's got instructions, right? Read manual before using. No, ask Mike Giver before using. <laughs> Mike Giver will solve all problems. Okay, but <laughs> I just wanna say, yeah. if I touch it, if it gets broken, I don't wanna do it. Okay, no, Mike Giver, don't touch it, because it takes, we got it from Manila. So, sorry, Mike, if we're gonna ruin it, we're ruining it ourselves. <laughs> That's 18,000. I don't have that kind of money. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is cool. Solar pump. And it is. Morning, Kwan Mike, no? Inlet, no? Can I go out? The rim tong. So, morning, can I go out? Mail. 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 PE. PE. Mail. Duha. Duha. You touched it! You touched it! I touched it! You touched it! If it breaks, if it breaks, Mike's gonna buy it!
How experienced are you with pumps, Kumar? Pumping up. <laughs> so, uh, we got this from Manila. Yes, it costs 18,000 pesos. That's something I'll let you know, because when it comes to solar, uh, things are a bit more pricey, like a solar pump. But imagine, once this is rigged up, we're never gonna have to use electricity for a water system ever. It's just gonna naturally flow for a really long time. Hold up, hold up, not yet. Brad, your first ever unboxing. Unbox the solar thing. What is that? What is that? I don't know. <laughs> Unbox it, bro. It's very high tech. I don't know this. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, it comes with a manual? So our friends, uh, a guy named Joey, hey Joey, I'm sure you're watching this, he gave us the idea of a solar pump and he also said you can do this yourself. So we have a manual and we're going to do it ourselves. After Jundi signs autographs, <laughs> Jundi, influencer, influencer, he was autographing a shirt to send to somebody. <laughs> Is that Sanuglo? Mm. Add more, one. Okay, thank you. Always double the ampalaya. Okay, we're eating in town, then we're gonna buy things. Spicy bread. Spicy. Commander, what would you say to a guy who is not eating rice and eats double ampalaya? <laughs> Bye. Bye hardware. Bye hardware. Bye. Lucky cats. <laughs> okay, we're buying some hardware at Concessa and we're going back. We're going back. We're going back. We came, we ate, we got hardware, we're going back. Capoe Sigi Capoe Kuya, Apolito, good good? No. Good, good. Actually? Anyone nicknamed Epic? Actually? So, he's been working with us for like four months and I only found out now that his nickname is Epic, as in Epic, and his family name is actually Good Good? Good Good, Apolito. Apolito, Good Good. Imagine your name is Epic Good Good. <laughs> That's cool, man. Legend. Uh, we got this grava in because we're gonna start to form the kind of driveway, so Epic Good Good is working on the gravel right now. What a name. Idol, Epic Good Good.
Gotta hide behind the sea or in showers in the sun. Okay, that guy's awesome and has the coolest name. Second thing, you would notice there's people all over right now who are sanding and doing some coding. Like Manong over there. What he's doing is he's putting on the first coat, which is a sanding sealer. And then they're gonna wait, second coat, sanding sealer again, and then they're gonna finish with a polyethylene, polyethylene, the third coat. Always leave your chinelas at the door. That's very, very important in the Philippines. I like this crew. Uh, everybody again is local here from Katiil and they're all awesome. And we've been working with them now for a few months and just super appreciate their vibes. Okay, this is exciting. Remember the coconut trees that Kumar and Jundi planted before? Well, they seem to be surviving and I'm hoping in the future that these will grow big and tall. I think they will. They really seem to be hanging in there. Now that it's on Mihan, there's lots of water coming in from the rain. Eventually, this could be a coconut kingdom. And we're never getting rid of this vegetation. Vegetation is life here. Look at this, this is so cool. But we are thinking about putting in the future some sort of cool platform here so we can just walk up and chill, look at the beach. Okay. We can't do the solar pump today, guys, because in town we found out they don't have any, uh, well, they have it, one inch pipe for coming from our water tower, but we only need 35 feet and you have to buy it in 60 meter bundles. So uh, we're gonna have to pick it up somewhere else. So solar pump in the near future. That's all, life is good. Power on, see you later. Jandi. What's up? What is in that pan, bro? Mongos. Mongos? And what is this? Beef. Beef? What are you cooking tonight, bro? I try this. It's not. You're gonna name the dish arthritis? No, oh, arthritis. Oh, what's it actually? <laughs> It's mongoose with beef only. Mongoose with beef. What's up, bro? <laughs> apprentice is here. Come on, <laughs> Apprentice. Okay, Lung? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Coconuts. Okay, I see you've changed up the tactics here for arthritis. Arthritis because the pressure cooker is available. So it's going to be faster. It's going to be faster. Okay. Okay, are you gonna use coconut milk in your mongo and beef? Later. Yeah? yeah. So is it all gonna go together? Yeah. How long do you cook the beef for? This one? Yeah. This one is gonna transfer here later. Into there. Yeah, I'm just taking off all the blood out. So our soup will be clear. And after you transfer in, uh, will eventually you add coconut milk into everything? Later, yeah. Okay. With the uh, spices. Wicked. Well, I'm gonna go for a run because it's 5 p.m. I'm gonna get dark Joggers. soon. Joggers Club. <laughs> In the meantime, here's Jundi cooking beef and mongo, mixing it all together into a super dish called arthritis. <laughs> arthritis is the best. The best arthritis ever. dripping on my mustache. It is the most disgusting feeling I have ever felt in my entire life and it makes me want to shave. 
<laughs> well, you know what's even more traumatizing? The fact that I'm sweating as much as you on my head, and all I'm doing is writing. And you've been burning. It's been almost two hours, bro. Yeah. So Mongo takes a long time to cook. Very long time to cook. Pepper. What other seasonings did you put in that? Just salt, pepper. That's it? Let the beef do its thing? Beef is already very tasty, that's why. Do you know what I think would be amazing with this? What? You, my boy. <laughs> the cut. The cut. The best. Oh my gosh! With with this, I bet it'd be awesome. All right, Petrai, the final the final thing. Yeah. Nice. Dubai. They would be really good with the cut. The cut is always the best with anything. Oh. Nice one. See you at the dinner table. Bye bye. Kumander. So why why does everybody call this arthritis? It's like Hi. everybody, it's only it was just my joke. Oh. <laughs> but if you have arthritis, for sure, Mongo is not allowed this for you. Your it's soup. High in uric. It's high in uric acid. Yeah. Really, really high. Super high. Super high. So if you eat lots of this, no beans, not, not specifically mongos, oh. but beans. Mango beans. Good. Even tamban. So there's the answer to your question. Garden. Mm. If you eat Garden. lots of mongo, it's high in uric acid and you might get arthritis. You might. <laughs> you will. You will? Tamban. Your arthritis is gonna be bad. It's gonna be bad. Uh. Your arthritis is gonna be bad. If you don't have no exercise. Really? Yes. So as long as you as long as you join the joggers club. <laughs> not really. Yeah? <laughs> not really. What do you mean not really? You just told me if you exercise. Yeah, but there's there's not only joggers, not only a form of exercise. A lot. Of, of course. You just want me you just want to make everybody join the surfers club. I get it. I get it, okay? I get it. We're having a we're having a club feud. Circus? I started the circus. Wait. <laughs> Surf surfers. Surfers. I thought right. you said the circus. <laughs> Mama Rose, can you uh, please end my vlog by just saying something, anything? <laughs> just say something. <laughs> I don't say anything, anything. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Good ending. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.